welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by, as always, a pig Leo, with a disco ball. A pig with a disco ball. Also Her known name as is Rose. Leo Vader. And that was J.B. Gwaltney. And we're playing Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. J.B. Gwaltney, mm -hmm. you're a big fan of the Wolfenstein, or as some say, the Wolfenstein yeah. Series like, like of our, video games. Our editor in chief, Andy. I, I was just saying hypothetically, some people <laughs> may choose to pronounce it that that way. They're true trailblazers in the English language, uh, which I don't know if Wolfenstein is actually English. Hot, hot, hot take. Hot there. take. So anyway, tell me about this game. You reviewed it. You enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see some new stuff. Yeah. Uh, so today we're gonna take a minute to look around the ship, which is mm -hmm. basically functions as uh, your sort of hub world. The yes. best way to think about it is maybe as a uh, you know, Wolfenstein's version of the Normandy from Mass Effect 2. Or maybe like Wolfenstein's version of the hub world from the last game. Well, <laughs> it's a bit different. It's, it's a boat. Well, yeah, but like it's bigger and there's more that you can do. Like you can do missions with people and stuff. Ah. You're coming out swinging on this yeah. one, Cork. No, I'm not. I'm just asking the tough questions. Yeah. He's just he's just being a journalist. It's yeah. fair. Thank wow. you. Yeah. Thank you. I would ask these <laughs> tough questions yeah. if I was a monster, but it's fine. Okay. All right. But yeah, everyone has their own room and you can go talk to them and stuff. And occasionally they'll give you like missions to do uh -huh. that can result in upgrades. So you're going in their room and mm -hmm. you also get a little sense of what kind of a person they yeah. are. Yeah. Here, let's go take a look. Let's be a big snoop. At Wyatt, who's uh -huh. a good old boy. If you played the All New right. Order. His interests include flags and Yeah, storks? and fish. He, he likes to fish. Or is that a heron? I'm not really a, a bird guy. He likes fish as yeah. well. What is it? A, a crab. Strange... Okay. Yeah. I'm not good um, at identifying things. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Can you inter You can interact with it? No, you can interact with this. Oh. Because if you remember, Jimi Hendrix was in the last game for like a hot second, and mm -hmm. he and Wyatt were buddies. It was a very, it, it was a very Forrest Gump moment. Um, yeah, that's enough of that. Yeah. All right, so that's Wyatt. That's yeah. everything you need to know about that entire person. This is BJ and Anya's room. All right, they doesn't make a bed. Mm -hmm. Messy. They have a lot of sex. It's fine. Oh, gross. Yeah. Who does that? Anyway, uh, so you know, let's let's take a let's go around to somewhere more exciting. It's easy to get lost in more here. Oh, let's go to sex. More let's, exciting than a boat. So you know, there's uh, there's cafeterias and stuff, and here's a bar up here, and uh -huh. it changes every time between missions. So you'll find different characters. You have a you spend a lot of time here. You'll find characters doing different things. Again, like they do on the Normandy. Sometimes they'll be getting drunk. Sometimes they'll be you know having fights with each other. Uh, other times you can have interactable cutscenes with them where BJ and them talk or they do mm -hmm. something sort of goofy. Can you uh, jump on that pool table? Yeah. Can you crouch down on that? On that guy. I don't think so. We cannot teabag this fellow. I don't think it's a teabag. Gross. All right. Anyway, uh, also, there, uh, there are secrets. So uh -huh. if you want to play uh, Wolfenstein uh -huh. 3D, also apparently in this game called Wolfenstone. Ah, I couldn't get the rights. That's yeah. uh, actually Wolfenstoon. Stoon. But yeah, you can do that. <laughs> okay. It's a fun little distraction. Yeah. But we're not going to do that. Can you believe at one point... In human history, that was a destination experience, is playing that game. I mean, yeah. 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 I totally can. It's, All right. it's beautiful. All right. All right. Oh, here's, a, here's our crappy cafeteria. Okay. I love the hamburger. Yep. Oh, no, that's a flapjack. That's a, <laughs> the hell? You don't like this game at all. It's a stack of hamburgers <laughs> with a pat of butter on top of it. Eat it with maple syrup. Exactly. Um, burgers. That's, that's how we do idea. it in the South. All right. <laughs> so we are actually going to take a look at one of the side missions you can do. Okay, uh, good. Yeah. And we're going to Manhattan, the Harbor District. All right. Uh, and so with these side missions, mm -hmm. during the game, when you kill commanders, you collect, and they're sort of like special units that can call for backup. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's usually in your best interest, unless you just want to do the Arnold Schwarzenegger thing and like kill everyone in the room. Yeah. To take them out first. Yep. Um, kind of like in the last game. Yeah, in the last game. Uh, but you collect Enigma codes off of them, and then that gives you special targets that you can do side missions for to go assassinate certain, like, commanders. Okay. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go to New York, and mm -hmm. we're going to kill a bad guy. So we are in New York, which uh, yeah, I recognize all this stuff. Yeah, all the uh, rotting wood. Yep. Uh, rusted metal. This is typically where I can afford to stay. <laughs> oh, grim. Uh, yeah, in this alternate history, the Nazis won the war by bombing New York mm -hmm. with an atomic bomb. Okay, and they're clearly very possessive about this debris. Yeah. Well, they've got a bunker guards. here. Okay. 
These stairs are still clear. So are there Americans still living here, or is everyone just gone? Because uh, uh, yeah, they're oh, American. Sweet Lord. Yeah, they're. <laughs> Why did you do that? Uh, you know, I just not the. I don't really want to talk about our differences in opinions. Okay, fair. It'd be nice opinions. if you if your stealth takedown was like tapping them on the shoulder and <laughs> like, then they turn around, and you have a nice conversation. What? Yeah. Be like, hey, bud, what's up? Hey. Come All on. right. Where's the pain coming from? Okay. Your legs when I chop them up. Good, good content, Leo. Thank you so much. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> All right, so that is a uh, bigger guy. Yeah, that's a. Uh, noticing. He's basically like a flamethrower sort of dude, All except right. the flamethrower are like flaming missiles. And he, while still big, not quite as big. So this has a variety of different sized enemies, Leo. You're writing this down, right? Yeah. yeah okay, wow. good. Important note. These are some good observations that I'm making based on what I'm seeing. <laughs> All right, so cool. your goal here is to kill a guy. Do you know who this is, why you're killing him, but fill us in with this hot information. They're just, uh, they're part of uh, the the Nazi elite like uh, military commanders. So you're just going around killing them all to weaken okay. the Nazis' str stronghold in America. All right. So now, these, why are you going to do that? What's so bad about these Nazi fellas? Well, they want to kill everyone who's not white. Interesting. Well, you... I have a question then. Uh, are these, like, a finite string of missions, or is this like a repeatable kind of thing you can do if you just want to blow some dudes up? Like, is it just... It's say, both. Uh, there are missions, like, you can come back to each area uh -huh. and, like, kill Nazis and explore and stuff, uh, but the missions themselves, like, going to kill certain commanders mm -hmm. are finite. Okay. But you can keep exploring, like, after those missions are done. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever at any point feel the desire to keep exploring after you killed the guy? Yep. Really? Yeah, because there are secrets in every <gasps> level and stuff. Can you, can, can you say what one of the secrets was? Uh, I mean, it's just stuff like weapon kits, uh, sort of lore kind of stuff. Not mm -hmm. like secret, secret, like, ooh, yeah. really cool, but just neat stuff to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And collect so like collectibles, basically, right. maybe more than secrets. And I think we talked about this briefly during uh, this is like the third video we've done on this together. Yes. Uh, I, I think we've talked a little bit about the weapon upgrades here, but you upgrade your weapons, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, Cork. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, New gameplay yeah. today every week at Game Informer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can upgrade your weapons with like scopes and silencers and stuff uh -huh. by uh, finding. Hold on. Sorry, I just needed to remember where to go. By, oh, fi yeah. by finding uh, weapons kits. All right. Is there anything kind of unusual, like a weirdo upgrade that you can get? Or is it typically just like the stuff that you would expect to see from a game that has guns? I mean, yeah, there's some... Oh, oh wait, never mind. I remember what I have to do now. I've got it. Uh, you know, for your machine gun pistol, there's mm. a nail gun upgrade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty cool. I think I actually have not one equipped on this playthrough. Let's see. That like slows... It slows down the rate of fire, but makes it super powerful. Okay, and uh, makes enemy or makes enemies catch fire. So, Why are you not talking what? about that all the time? The nail gun nails, that though? makes yeah it makes people go on fire and it shoots nails. It is pretty great, right? Are those people full of nails? Can you please? They, is that uh, really fire? Uh, it looks like fire to me. Oh yeah, here we go. I need to see if you're really shooting nails. <laughs> also, here's our big special gun. JV, I'm about to freak out. The BSG. The BS... Oh, got it. Let's find an enemy we can use. This is basically a mine thrower. Depending on what timeline you choose at the beginning of the game, uh -huh. uh, you get a different weapon. If you choose Fergus, you know, uh -huh. basically Simon Pegg, that's that's who Fergus is. Right. Uh, you get the you get a uh, laser weapon that's okay. from, the, uh, from the New Order, like okay. that same laser weapon, but with some modifications. But uh, with... Here we go. Our guys around here somewhere, but with this one, this is basically a mine thrower. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as we find some Nazi scum, all right. And you were looking at you got the signal detected. Yeah, the blue one is the guy we want. Right, but that there's another officer in the area. Okay, uh, that we have to kill. Let's try and do this stealth like. Let's see how long this lasts. Uh, these are suppressed too. They don't sound like it, but I have a suppressor built into them. Okay. Uh, otherwise, they'd be super loud. Those do look like two very quiet guns. Right yeah. Now. Okay, so he's probably upstairs, and we're creeping up the stairs. As you do. Played the New Order 35 times? 35 million times? What was it? That huh. seemed kind of rude. Um, <laughs> just laying into his crotch. 
Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I've played it like 24 times. I think the last time I played it right before this came out was time 24. Nice. Yeah, it's the game I've played the most. Um, I love that game. It's very flawed, but I love it. And I feel like this game fixes a lot of the flaws with that one. Do you see this that many playthroughs in your future of this one? I have no idea. Mm. Well, we'll have to see. What a ridiculous question, Leo. You've, you're wasting everyone's time. My uh, apologies. <laughs> you can find my apology up on the site. JV clearly <laughs> did not like that line of I questioning. I did not at all. <laughs> it's a lot longer? It made me a grumpy... Uh, n about three hours longer, I'd say, depending Totaling on like... How many hours would you say? 15, 16. Okay. All right, hold on. Let's do some uh, William Gibson... Wait, Mel Gibson. Yeah, Mel Gibson uh, gonna say, Patriot <laughs> action here. We're going to Mona Lisa overdrive him? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All yeah, right. this place is really uh, blown up good, JV, as they say. Yeah, really. What, did the kids say that? I don't know. My blown kids would probably good. say that if I asked them to say it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so we're getting closer. We're getting, oh, oh no, he's a big one. Yeah, and the big ones are a pain. Okay, so and what are you going to do? Can you, like, like snap his neck from behind? Well, you, this stealth section is no longer a stealth section. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to go loud. Are yeah. there stealth options for those big guys, or is it just? Yeah, you can actually like sneak around behind them and like cut their fuel tanks. Okay, that guy did not put up much of a fight. That's because I these weapons more. are super powered. Okay, and like you're also very good, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The shotguns <laughs> are ridiculous, especially with the ricochet. Yeah, because it just bounces everywhere. Oh can, yeah. Oh jeez. Look at that. Like you just shoot the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's it's great actually. Yeah, it's fun. All right, I think this guy's up here maybe. Oh, or... he's broadcasting an alarm, JV. I don't want to. You don't want to alarm me? Oh God! Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, they have explosive weapons. Okay, no. <laughs> the hell with this. Oh. <laughs> All right. So you're like a. And you get little death cards okay. for them. I don't know why these guys have death cards on them. So you can host the funeral. Um, well, I think we just had the funeral. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a look at one of the side missions. All right, so we just skipped past a bunch of rough stuff. Yeah, it was super rough. The intro is super rough and also has some story stuff that we might not necessarily want to spoil. Yeah. But this is the first level. This is where we actually get into the action. Mm-hmm. And how Wolfenstein show or how Wolfenstein Two shows that it's trying to do interesting stuff, even on a gameplay basis, not just storytelling basis. Yeah, from the beginning. Uh, if you didn't play the last game, the last game ends with BJ basically becoming crippled. Right. Um. So he can't use his legs. Mm -hmm. So we spend this whole section in a wheelchair. All right. So Makes let's sense. do that. Kill him. Oh, Leo, he's a... See, I didn't have to kill him, Leo. Okay. Fine. This is how you go now, Nazi. You ain't getting it back. All right. How are the wheelchair controls? <laughs> uh, a little sluggish, but, like, more than doable. Oh are god. They, are they tanky or are they pretty much a different looking Yeah, way yeah, of controlling yeah. Normally? They're they're not really tanky, it's just There's more way uh, It's hard to explain. But I mean the controls function identically, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm. Let's go ahead and go up the stairs. Nope. Uh -huh. Nope. Guess we'll have to take the elevator. The convenient elevator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're about to notice that this, this whole ship is about to be Come very handicap accessible <laughs> and right. convenient. There's a big push for that back in the yeah fifties. This is a uh, 1961. Okay. Yeah, well, the very late fifties. <laughs> yeah, 195011. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's set. Can the game really tell if you pass wind? I don't want to find out. Better with connect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, look at those giblets. Look at him. Wow. I used to be a Nazi. Quick, 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 
How much time do you spend in a wheelchair? Is it a lot? No. Oh, that could have been you. Just this level. Man, that beard. It's kicking. It's not as good as yours, Court. Aww. Know how long you've been in bed? Five months. Your hmm. body is broken. You understand? Your kidneys are failing. It's difficult to remember a character that's suffered as much tra traumatic injuries as BJ. Yeah. As BJ? Yeah. Uh, what about Snake, maybe? You do have a good point. Yeah. Or but Anakin I mean, Skywalker. He is one of my favorite video game characters. That's right. Who's Snake? Anakin Skywalker. Oh, Anakin Skywalker. Star Wars, <laughs> Star Wars Episode One Pod Racing. That game's amazing. I don't care what anyone says. I completely agree. Sail platform elevator. You are such an auction. You are such an auction. Okay. I kind of wanted to pull out like a Hebrew dictionary or like yeah. something cassette. Like spend so much of the game like talking in those terms. <laughs> auction. I think yeah. it means super genius or something. Probably from context clues. I love this Nazi. I the way he like just how he like tries to like. <laughs> 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 It's so good. <laughs> it's like maybe if I just because yeah. I, I particularly feel like I do that a lot in video games too, yeah. where you're like, okay, maybe I can just like sidestep. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nice try though. Um. So yeah, you can also use these traps. Like this Nazi right here is about to find out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. So can you sprint in the wheelchair? No. I wish you stayed in it and then like upgraded it with <laughs> jetpacks and stuff. That'd be pretty great. Be cool. Like a Dead Rising style wheelchair thing? Yeah. Oh, no. You're just... <laughs> All right. Going this way. I saw a challenge pop up for stealth takedowns. Yeah, uh, the perk system mm -hmm. is sort of Wolfenstein since the New Order's uh, RPG light system. So you get stat boots and stuff for creative ways for killing enemies. So, for example, like uh, when your health is overcharged, which, mean, which means you've put it past 100 mm -hmm. and it's ticking down. Um, so you get a little boost, but it's temporary. The more enemies that you kill while overcharged, every time that rank goes up, uh, the overcharge goes down slower. And then, like, there's stuff like uh, if you kill, like, 10 enemies with a hatchet, the uh, amount of hatchets that you can carry goes up. Okay. Like, throwing hatchets. So it's just stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. I have to try and not get cooked. I think I... Yep. Yeah, there we go. It is very easy to get cooked in here. Mm hmm As this guy found out. Yeah. He found out hard. Careful. It's all right. As long as they're not shooting sparks, we're good. All right. All right, we need to go over there. Yeah, there's also a hint indicator, which wasn't in the first game, that's super helpful. Yeah. When you need to know where to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. So the IGN logo appears whenever... <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. So it looks like it's over here. Oh, those are stairs, my friend. What? Oh, he died horribly. There's a doorway in here. There we go. Just rolling around in my wheelchair. Yep, yep. Here we go. Oh, how convenient. Uh -oh. Is that why they installed this? But not for that guy. I think it's just a turbine. Uh, that happens to be conveniently shaped for my wheelchair. That's nice. On the subject of overkill, yeah, jeez. <laughs> Just to be sure, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's about being efficient. Although maybe if I'm wasting that much ammo, it's I was gonna not, say I don't think that's what efficiency that, that efficiency. is. But <laughs> I, guess. I just really enjoy my work. Yeah. There it is. Here we go. There's always a path. There's always an elevator. <laughs> I 
Come here, buddy. Shoot and get this. Yeah, there you go. Mm. <laughs> Never gets old. Wonderful. Never gets old. Wait for it. All right. Get here. Is a big claw gonna pick you up? Hold on. I like how I can lean in the wheelchair. Mm hmm. I don't know if that's how physics work, but okay. What'd you give this game in your review? I gave this game a 9.75. Wow. It's the, actually the highest game I've ever scored professionally, I yeah. think. Yeah. So it's even better than Quadrilateral Cowboy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Interesting. I adore that game, too. Yeah. I remember people giving you a lot of crap for that back when I was interning in 2016. I'm I glad still, to see it is not... I still stick to my guns on that game. Yeah? I love it. There we go. You guys want to see a dick move? Look at this. Oh, Aww. that Nazi. What a dick move. Not cool. <laughs> you don't really see wheelchairs in video games that aren't just used as background elements in a horror set piece. Or blocking a door. Huh. Blocking a door. Or Professor X. What's another fighting. What's another example? What of a wheelchair? Think? Bentley in a, in a game. Sly Cooper. Oh. Yeah. Three. Let's see. All right. Belt reversed. Yeah, so because I deactivated that trap before I came down, yes. I didn't have to like work my way around here because usually there's like... Oh. So it's pretty cool that like there's flexibility in the level design. Mm -hmm. Rewards for like taking those enemies heads on, head on up there instead of using traps against them. And like that shows up several times in the game. Like with multiple paths and such. Yeah. So by your 30th completion of this game, you're going to be just amazing at it right and you'll sure you'll stream sure. it right yeah sure that's what okay. uh that's what i'll do all right so i think we will cut here after this cutscene. we'll end it he said i e in the how ironic that his, his head was uh taken off how is that makes you think how what are you it's kind of poetic Oh, oh, because he said he's going to take your head. Yeah. All right. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Leo, I got it. Took yeah. me a second. Sorry to leave you stranded like that. Sorry. Buddy. I'm really good at catching themes in, yeah. uh, in works like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. Okay. Let's get you up. Ah, look at that beautifully detailed gore. Still got it. He's a charmer, BJ. Mm -hmm. Badass jokester. That's what that stands for. Schmoozerai. What a great word. All right. Oh, okay, so we're going to go to the deck. Yeah. But. That's an adventure that we'll have to yeah, save you'll for have another to, day. You'll have to wait until you play it on your own. Ah, viewers. there you go. Yeah. All right, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Hey, Leo, thanks for doing your stuff. Hey, yeah. it's my pleasure. You're, you're rad, Leo. Yeah. I like you. I like you. Thanks right. for being here. As always, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.